Welcome to the CN environment videos. In these videos I would like to show you an overview of the LMS system, so the learning management system, which means the course management system actually. So to access your courses you have two possibilities. You can use the menu here on your left or you can use the command courses on the top menu. So to access a course it's not that difficult. You just click on the course you want to access and then a new window opens with a couple of different menus that we will explore just now. Here on the left part of your screen you have this menu with tasks. Tasks corresponds actually to, to the biggest sections of your course. We see only the first three tasks. If you want to see all of them just click on show all tasks and you see here that you can access all the sections of your course just by clicking on the name which is actually a link. So let's go back to the introduction and in this introduction you see we have a infographic and it's about it. So if you want to access the other parts of the this section you have here a main task which is the first page of that section and then by clicking on those tabs, you can access the content of the other sections of the week. And if you want to come back to the main task, just click on the main task and you will come back to the first page of the section. You can also write posts in the CN just by putting your title here, a description. You can add image, you can take a short video of yourself. You can add a file, a YouTube video, a file from Google Drive and other uh, mathematical equations, for instance. You can show the post setting. Do you want to display it immediately? Do you want to accept reflections on your post and so on? And you can also decide if your post is to be viewed by the all course or by specific groups and so on. And you can also add your post to your CN portfolio. We'll come back to the CN in another video. You can also make polls, the same principle, a title, a description. You can also uh, embed media in your poll and the same, you can select the visibility of your poll. And events, you can create events. Events can be a virtual classroom, can be a course you created and you invite your peers to discover it or to enroll in it. You can also create offline events. If, for instance, you live in the same area as other participants, you can invite them to a study group at your home or in a nice place like a cyber cafe or something like that. And email, you can email to other participants. Let's also have a look at another menu here on the left. You see syllabus. Syllabus is a place where you will find all the documents uh, here there is nothing yet, but you will find here all the documents the trainers provide for this course. So if there are PDFs for guidelines, for instance, or descriptions of tools, you can find them here. Posts is the post that your peers in the course have posted. The same with posts and even, it's the, the polls and the events that are available in this course. Global Post is a bit special because the course networking has a feature called Global Classroom. Actually, each course is described with a number of keywords. And if another course in the world has the same keywords, then you can exchange messages with people from other countries. Uh, here, for instance, I have a post from some people in Malaysia. And uh, if I go here, I have a post in French. If you are not familiar with that language, it's not a problem. You here, you click here and you can translate the course in your on your own language. Files, you will see several files related to the course. Quizzes, here you will find all the quizzes that have been created by your trainers. CN Dropbox is where you are expected to give back your work. In each section we will ask you to provide some assignment and you can put them here. Below that you have the gradebook and the gradebook will show you your grades throughout the course. To see your participants it's quite easy, you just click on roster 
and you will have the list of all participants in your course. Analytics will provide you with the analytics of your course. So here in the blue line shows your activity compared to the average activity of the group in your course. Don't forget something important in the LMS as well as in the other parts of your CN network is the calendar because here you can see uh, when you have a virtual classroom, if you have an assignment to give back to your trainer or if you have a quiz to pass and so on, all the deadlines will show in your calendar. Thank you for your attention and see you soon.